guys. Thanks for stopping by today. Presley and I are going to try and show you how we have been making um, these DIY signs. I'm not trying to take away business from anybody. Um, I had a Etsy shop for years that helped um, clothe and diaper her and put food on the table. Um, but sometimes it's just fun to make stuff in your home um, without having to spend so much money on cute decorations. So these projects are so easy to do. I'm doing them for just a few dollars. Um, these pieces of wood that I'm using a lot of times are plywood. Um, I have no flipping idea what this is. Um, but this was in the trash bin at Home Depot. When you head into Home Depot um, to get wood for your projects, um, when you find the lumber department and you head to the very back where the um, where they can cut the wood for you, the first two cuts are free. After that, it's 50 cents. Back there, they have a 70% off um, section where all of the kind of like dead wood is. Um, next to the cut station is usually a trash can where they put scrap wood. Um, all of this wood um, is leftover pieces that they can't sell or pieces that have um, really bad deformities. The back of this one has this horrible burn mark. Um, so this was completely free. It needs a really good sanding, um, but this is going to make an amazing sign. Um, and this is the piece that we're going to show you how um, to make a kitchen sign for today. And then the other piece that you're going to need um, are these long little skinny guys. This comes in a huge, probably six foot piece. It's 87 cents. Um, so what I do, um, usually my first trip is I collect these pieces. I've got a garage full of them um, because I love free stuff. Um, and then what I do is that I measure the top um, and then the sides where these pieces are going to go so that when I go to Lowe's, I know the exact measurement to have them um, cut these for me. Again, those first two cuts are free um, and then this, every cut after that is 50 cents. So if I need four cuts for these four pieces, it ends up being an extra um, dollar for cuts. So 87 cents for the wood <laughs> and then a dollar for the cuts. Um, so this project, I'm only paying for this one piece. It's costing me about $2 to do this entire project um, because the paint and then um, the scrap vinyl that I use is all on hand. So. Um, we're gonna go sand this and then I'll be back to show you how we paint, stain, and glue these on here, um, which is the first step. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you can put up with our craziness. <laughs> you say hi? Hi. <laughs> and we are filming this in our home on the floor with my mega tiny um, corp phone. This phone is so awesome. Well, it's the iPhone, it's the case um, that is incredible. Jeff is a great design. I'll leave the link to that at the bottom of this video um, so you can see where you can purchase your own sticky case. Um, so we're gonna go sand this and then we will be back to show you the next steps. Guys, I just got back inside um, from sanding this outside on my back patio. This is the piece that we're gonna use that I showed you earlier. Um, so I sanded this with my hand sander and some 80 grit um, sandpaper. Okay. Um, so I gave this a really good sanding. There's still some just kind of minor imperfections on here. There's a pretty big gash right here um, that I'm kind of trying to consider if I should cover that, uh, fill that with wood glue or not. I can't quite decide um, the look I'm going for. Um, so since this is sanded, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna paint this First, while this is drying, um, you're gonna head back outside with your hand sander to sand your um, frame, those uh, skinny pieces. Um, so we're gonna paint this right now, um, and I'll probably speed up the video so you don't have to watch us slowly paint that. But thanks for sticking around. Hope you are learning and having fun. This is probably like the worst YouTube video you guys will ever watch. Seriously, this is so hard. Um, so the paint that I'm going to be using today on this uh, kitchen sign is the Americana Decor Chalky Finish in Lace. Um, this is just of a little bit of an um, off-white color. 
I love Americana Decor's paint. Um, their chalky finish line is amazing. I seriously use it on everything. Um, and then I'm also just using a one inch angled brush. You can really use just whatever you have around the house. So um, we're gonna go do like a quick little time lapse of this so you don't have to watch um, us paint the entire thing. So uh, here we go. Guys, it is hot outside. We are in Arizona, and I think we're like 105 today, so I am dripping sweat. So disgusting. Um, so I just sanded um, the, the framing, the little 87-cent piece uh, long skinny guys. So I just uh, sanded the top that's going to be showing and then the sides. I didn't sand, or sand um, the back that's going to be glued to... Um, the flat piece of wood because it's just a waste of time. So again, I sanded this with my hand sander in the same, uh, I think it's 80 grit. Um, now I'm gonna just stain those three visible sides with, again, um, this is from DecoArt. This is the Americana uh, Gel Stain Line. This is maple, definitely my, fav my favorite color. They also have a walnut that's a little bit darker, but I like this one, it's really rich. Um, so I'm gonna stain these, um, set them up on some cans. Um, I'll show you a picture so that they can dry. And then after about an hour, we're going to clamp them onto the um, flat piece and then we'll let that sit for a few hours while we're making the stencil. Um, so I'm going to go steam these and then I'll uh, YouTube edit in a picture of how they're sitting. Um, and then we'll be on to the next step. Okay, guys. So here is um, just a quick little video of those uh, frame pieces. Um, that I just stained with that maple color from DecoArt. Um, I just did the top and the sides. You don't have to do the edges because those are going to be um, pushed together on the frame. Here's the board. Um, so we're going to let that dry for probably about an hour before we clamp it together. Um, and then I'll be back to show you that portion. Okay guys, so you can see um, how I clamped these down. Um, I Put wood glue on the back of them and place them all uh, down, line them up, and then I clamped them. I did two clamps um, on the longer piece and, and then one on the smaller piece. Um, you can see this wood, um, I definitely should have sanded this a little bit more. It's a little crazy. And so um, make sure that you're picking your free wood, probably a little bit better than this piece, but you know, hey. Tutorial is almost over, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a wet rag um, and clean up some of these um, glue spill marks um, and then let this sit for a while while I'm making my stencil. Okay guys, so um, our site is drying over here, so now is the time where we are going to make the stencil. Um, so the way that I make my stencils is with my Silhouette Cameo. Um, I'm very lucky and thankful to have one. Um, but if you don't have one, you can do this by hand. Um, you can print um, your font out on normal paper and then cut that out with an X-Acto knife um, or do the old school and um, like shade it on the back of the um, printer paper um, and then lay that down and then trace over so the little line um, goes down and then you can paint that in. Um, but like I said, I'm lucky enough to have a silhouette. So I'm gonna create um, on my Mac my uh, stencil based on the dimensions of the board um, and then once that's printed out I'll show you what it looks like um, in the next step for painting your sign and if you guys aren't following along very well I'm um, sorry this YouTube thing is so hard um, so feel free to uh, send me a message leave a comment um, comment on my blog post whatever I can do to help you guys um, I promise I'm wearing pants <laughs> Um, so thanks for being patient and for sticking around. Hopefully this is all making sense. Um, so I'll be back. Okay, so I used my tape measure and measured this sign that is drying. Um, and it's approximately 24 inches long by about 10 inches high. Um, so I came to my, look, there's that, um, to my uh, Silhouette Studio on my Mac um, and put in that 24 by 10. And um, that then turns my mat uh, long ways, which is really easy to do with or without 
um, your cutting mats. And then the font that I'm choosing to use is DK Pimpernel. This font I downloaded for free on dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. Um, it, I think it's an adorable font. It's perfect for this. Um, there's the spelling on that. But again, you can have so much fun with uh, fonts that you're doing for your signs. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and print this out on, um, I'm using vinyl just because that's easy, but you could also print this out. Um, and when I say print, cut it out on my silhouette, you could use cardstock or I use poster board a lot of time because that's so cheap. Um, people also use contact paper. Um, so really it's just, it just depends on uh, what's easiest for you. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and print that out and get it on here and right, we're ready to stencil our word on. This is the Americana Decor Chalky Finish in Carbon. Um, so this is pretty much just black. Um, I printed out, I decided um, against the vinyl and I went with um, poster board. These are, you can fit probably three or four of these on the dollar sheet that you get at Walmart. Um, so this is a great option if you don't wanna use your vinyl. Um, I'm going to line this up on here, um, really lightly go over it um, with this black and then take off the poster board and then use a really small fine tip um, paintbrush to just kind of seal the edges, make sure um, that the lines look perfect. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to distress it. Um, so I will probably speed up this video um, so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing really slow. Okay guys, so hopefully that uh, time lapse works pretty well. Um, our kitchen sign um, is done and drying. Um, so we're gonna let it dry for about an hour. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, some sandpaper um, just to smooth out some of the um, spots that are a little bit bigger like on this E um, and then just to rough it up a little bit. Um, then we're gonna Seal it with a polyurethane, um, hang some hanging hardware on the back, and then it is done, guys. You did it.